Hi, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Laura. Hi, hello, welcome. My shirt says Alexis on fire if anyone is trying to figure it out. I think in my last trash it and cash it, I mentioned that I was going to place a small Ulta purchase because I thought I was going to finish a couple products um, within the scope of like the next month and I didn't want to be without things. So I also had a couple items that I totally forgot to mention in my last video. So I do have um, some PR items and then one purchase that I forgot to talk about. So I'll just include it into this haul like it kind of thing. So uh, yeah, it's not that much. It's really not that much, but I figure I still want to be held accountable for what I have brought into my collection. Um, I am lucky enough to be on Fantasy Cosmetica's PR list. I am actually lucky enough to also have an affiliate code that you could save 10% if you use it. Um, anyway, um, I they sent over, Jordan and the brand sent over the new Warlock palette, and then I selected a couple lip oils. I think they rained, they had like six in the collection. I, I selected two because I didn't know how I was going to feel. I gotta say, I really, really enjoy the lip oils. These are part of the Warlock collection as well. Um, first of all, I think the packaging is really beautiful. I like the fact that it has the name. And then on the side as well, they have the shade name in it. Um, I think that this is just really, really pretty. I will say the packaging or like the labeling on this one is already starting to wear off. So once that wears off, I'm not gonna know uh, the brand. I, I mean, I will know the brand, but you know what I mean. Like once it wears off, if you forget, you forget kind of thing. Um, and then this was the oddball shade that I was kind of, I was really excited about. This is Arch Fay, but these smell so incredible. There is a light plumping aspect to them. It isn't like that minty plump, but it's not like a cinnamon plump. It's just like a plumping sensation. And the doe foot is really pretty on these, or not pretty, but like nice at that chunky doe foot. This is the most comfortable lip oil that I've personally used. This green one smells like fruit snacks. Um, the This one smells like, like fruit by the foot or like gushers or like that kind of fruit candy. It smells just incredible. Yeah, but this one definitely smells more like kiwi. So yeah, they're different scented, I guess. Jordan also launched a fragrance a warlock fragrance with this collection and i don't have the scent notes so i will post the notes of it right here i think it had like chocolate something else it smells so nice in the spritzer but once it's ah uh, like out it's almost a little too much i think this is one that i'm just gonna have to play with and see like how many sprays like I think this might be like a one spritz and like you're good for like the entire day because it's just such a pungent fragrance. But it smelled really good. It was just like a lot when I sprayed it because I think I might have sprayed a couple times. And then also the reason I was so pumped was the Warlock palette. Um, this is just, this is, the packaging is just so cute. I love the new packaging that Jordan's been putting out for the palettes um, for the brand. But this is the Warlock palette. It has those unbelievably beautiful greens that I love, like these two very bright, bright greens. And then these two more yellow, acidic greens. Um, pardon my nails, they look atrocious. I am wearing these two shades on my look today. On the outer portion of my look, I'm wearing these two really deep, dark shades. Really, really pretty. I have tested out and tried every single shade in this palette so far. No pan left behind it, it, yes, yes. Um, but you'll hear me talk a little bit more about this in my eyeshadow bank, and then I will. I should be having a dedicated video come out about this palette as well. Thank you again, Jordan and Fantasy Cosmetica, for sending this my way. Then the item that I forgot to talk about last month is this guy here. This is a Kopari um, sample trial multi-set like value set what am i trying to say a value set this is their tropical vacay hydration i gave my coworker the guava one and i'm kind of sad about it sorry rosemary if you're watching this so i think i might actually buy another one of these um because i want that scent back again but 
like honestly not a big deal um i really love these lotions i have the pineapple one is in my basement and then i have these two here then i bought another skincare item i just ran out of my last sugar scrub so i got a two pack of the tree hut sugar scrubs i just really like the this these scrubs in particular i haven't tried these scents yet so i will i'll, I'll just smell them right now how about that bikini reef is really nice it's like a light floral what do you do you say what you have in it i don't know and then blue lagoon let's take a look at that one it's such a beautiful shade of blue this one Oh yeah, this one definitely has more of that like aquatic smell, like like it smells more like ocean refreshing, like salt y kind of scent. Then a repurchase from me and they really package these things up for me. Um, this is the La Roche Posay Tolerane Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. This I would say is a better than dupe of the Dermalogica what was that that ultra intensive moisture hydrating cleanser this is a little bit less like thick than that cleanser but this one's just super super nice good if you have dry skin good if you have normal skin um this just gets the job done i do a micellar water as my pre like my pre cleanse my first cleanse and then i do this and it like takes every lick of makeup off of my face and i really 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 appreciate this then I also bought a couple more of the Mario Badescu facial sprays. It's been a couple years since I've tried these out or had them. So I wanted to give them another whirl. I know I really like the green, which is the cucumber and green tea scent. Ripley's on my desk, so if he is trying to rub the camera, I apologize for any movement. But I knew I liked this one. And then this one is newer to the line from when I've used them before. This is the coconut water and adaptogens version. And I don't know, I looked at the difference between them and then I've now completely forgot the differences, but I knew I wanted to try this for whatever claims they said that this does. I had, I had two makeup purchases. One is a repurchase because I have told you time and time again, I refuse to not have this in my collection. Um, I opened up my last one and I just wanted to have a re-up. Sometimes these get sold out and I just don't want that to ever be the case. I bought another one of my Ulta Beauty matte eye primers. Um, this is just my favorite eye primer. I have that. This will be probably my fourth or fifth tube of that eye primer. It's just my absolute favorite. Then my only other product I ended up purchasing, they were doing like the, like a, it wasn't the 21 Days of Beauty. It was like the sale after it where like there was just like a, 40% off across the board on like a bunch of brands. Um, so there was a lot of drugstore stuff in there. And I mentioned in a video that I was about to run out of my current bronzer. So I've been on the hunt or asking for recommendations. This was just so cheap. I think I ended up like it was on sale and then like with points, I think I ended up spending like $2 or $1 on this. So it was really, really, really inexpensive. And I feel like I remember Nicole Renee Cutler talk about this product many, many years ago when I used to watch her channel like religiously. Um, it's the Wet and, Wet and Wild Mega Glow Contour Stick in the shade Call Me Maple. The bronzers that I've been using up this whole year have been more of the warm toned bronzer. So I was looking for more of a warm toned bronzer to bring back into my collection once those were gone um because i have a cool toned cream bronzer already so now that i have a warm toned one in my collection uh i can kind of bounce back and forth if i want to use a warm toned bronzer or if i want to use a cool toned bronzer so it just kind of it'll depend on the vibe or whatever cream product i want to use or maybe whatever product bronzer product i'm panning i can fluctuate between the different cream products it wasn't a splurgy kind of purchase. I feel like it was a decent amount of stuff, but again, it wasn't stuff like I didn't go overboard with anything. I'm really proud that I didn't go overboard with anything. It was really just a humble, like really makeup wise. I mean, technically I bought these to use as makeup. So it's like four makeup products are coming in and then like four or five, depending on how you really want to count it. If you want to count these independently, three, four, five, six six um skincare products came into my collection so it's really not the end of the world and it's stuff that i know i can go through these pretty quickly i know that i'm 
always just want this in my collection and then this will be like a staple again um yeah so i'm not too upset about what i did bring into my collection this month or not even this month it's not even the end of the month oh my gosh i have to remember that it's not the end of the month we're still i'm filming this on the 8th of october so we still have plenty of the month of october for me to do make bad choices um so there's that but thank you so much for watching my very small Ulta haul um let me know if you've ended up purchasing anything in like the 21 days of beauty that just passed or i know like what's on your sephora viv wish list i don't really shop at sephora so i don't really know any of the products that are sold at sephora if i'm being honest but that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you are doing well i hope you're staying healthy sane and safe and i'll catch you in the next video bye